Hello, everyone. My name is Justin Berwinkle, and I'm a research audiologist at Starkey. Today, I'm excited to share our latest research study with you, which used a creative methodology incorporating a unique hearing aid platform and readily available artificial intelligence tools to help us examine the effectiveness of public hearing assistive technology in real-world listening situations. Traditionally, the effectiveness of ALDs have primarily been measured either subjectively or more objectively in laboratory settings. However, we took a new approach by developing a new hearing aid firmware that allowed us to wirelessly stream hearing aid microphone and induction coil audio signals to a smartphone for storage and subsequent analysis. Using this new method, we were able to collect synchronous recordings from both the hearing aid microphone and induction coil inputs from a variety of listening situations where hearing loops were being deployed. We then processed these recordings through Google's speech-to-text recognizer and used its output to analyze the relative intelligibility of each of these recordings from the field. We repeated this process with recordings from a laboratory setup we used with 20 hearing impaired subjects as well. This allowed us to relate the field recording metrics to a more traditional laboratory measurement. Our findings showed that public hearing assistive technology can provide real-world speech intelligibility improvements that were equivalent to 5 to even 30 dB of SNR improvement that we could create in the lab. What's exciting is that our methods allowed us to assess a functional benefit that previously could only be measured in the laboratory, providing us with new perspective on the actual efficacy of hearing assistability technology being used in real-world situations. Our conclusions have significant implications for facility operators who can install these systems to help facilitate equitable communication access, as well as the audiologist who can help prepare their patients to get the most out of these systems. Ultimately, we hope our findings will lead to a greater adoption and utilization of assistive listening technology, as it clearly has the potential to improve social participation and the quality of life for people with hearing impairment.